Hey guys, welcome back to another art video with Mad Wiley. Today I have a Procreate painting of the most requested Christmas character of 2020, the Grinch. And surprise, there's a twist. I've incorporated a model that I found off Pinterest. Her name is Marina Neri, a Brazilian model. I was drawn to her facial expression and I thought it would work really well with the Grinch. To start off my digital painting, I do go in with a soft airbrush, laying out the features, basically where I want things to go, making a mess of things before I start getting into the sketch. When I start using the 6B Procreate pencil, all of the brushes that I use are the Procreate brushes. I haven't downloaded any new brushes from anyone as of yet. I'm still understanding Procreate and learning with what I have, other than going ahead and purchasing brushes. I'm still learning how to create brushes on Procreate. It is a little bit difficult. It's very different to Photoshop and Critter. So that's something I need to definitely work on. I also feel like I'm still working on my style. I'm still progressing and trying to find the style that I feel like I want to be or where I want to be at. So with these brushes, I really need to keep an eye on like how I really feel with these things because so many people use different brushes for different things, but they also have different outcomes. So instead of having this charcoal -y drawing, really textured, you know, I'm, I guess I like more of this smooth, blended, perfected sort of style. So like, I guess in a sense, I'm, I'm kind of working with my comforts and I'm going with that. But yeah, um, brushes make a big difference when it comes to the style of the artwork. There's this whole massive circle of learning that I still need to continue. And that's the thing with art, it's, it never really, never really stops. You're constantly yearning to find new ways of doing things and creating. When I'm not doing an artwork, I'm usually watching other YouTubers. I'm learning off them basically with what they do and how they use programs, and how they work with the paintbrushes. It doesn't even have to be digital, it's both digital and traditional painting. And that's the power of persistence. We just have to continue doing what we love and we're only going to get better. And that's by understanding the mistakes that we stumbled across in the past and we bring that into the future and we persist. And that's the beauty of it all. Being able to watch your art being made now and then being able to watch my art being made in the future. I know that there is going to be a massive difference and I have that in my brain and I'm just fired up and going. I'm pretty much making art whenever, whenever I can. It's really great using Procreate because you can just use anywhere. It took me a while to finally get this iPad and I've been wanting it for so long. I'm super grateful that I have it today. Not that I didn't like being on my computer because being on the computer and using Critter and Photoshop is, is an easy process. The only problem that I had was um, finding the time to sit in my office. Making myself feel creative in the office, in the same space, which, you know, it, it can get boring. And even though you jazz it up and move your plants around and just wasn't really helping my creative juices flow. With the iPad, I find that I'm in bed and I'm doodling and then <laughs> in bed doodling. That sounds really weird. Um, <laughs> then I'll be on the couch in the morning and I'm doing some sketches with my tea. I can be in a cafe. I can go to the doctor's office. I can just literally be anywhere and I can be creative and I don't have to have a whole bunch of pencils and papers and I don't have to worry about my artwork being squashed in my bag. It's just so easy and I'm absolutely in love with it. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy traditional art forms of acrylic paintings, watercolours, you know, anything that's pen to paper, paintbrush to canvas. Whatever you put down is basically what you have to work with. There's no erasing it, it's no going back. That's the thing with the iPad. You can just press rewind and off you go. I do really enjoy the traditional art form. I haven't done many since I've had my iPad. I've done a few sketches in my journal and that is about it. If you're an artist or an art appreciator, what's your perspective on traditional and digital? Send us a comment in the comment section. It's always great to have a chat and learn someone else's perspective. And this is where my babbling stops. I'm gonna let you continue watching my art video in peace. I hope you all enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you do want to keep in, in touch with what I'm doing, I do post more often on Instagram and Facebook, so follow me there if you want to stay tuned. It's been a pleasure YouTubing for you all. Take good care. I hope you enjoyed your holiday season. Merry Christmas to all of you, and I hope you have a brilliant start to the next year of 2021. 
let's hope it's a bright and bold year ahead so yeah ciao catch you later au revoir tata bye bye
Bye.